Welcome everyone. Um, man, exciting times. It's August and hunting season is almost officially here and we're kicking it off once again with a, with a big hunt, but we're doing something totally different for this hunt. I am going uh, with some good friends and all I am going to do is film this with my iPhone. We're, it's it's pretty wild going on an adventure hunt and just filming it with uh, your iPhone, but we're going to do it. It's the night before, uh, flying out, heading out, and same as last year, I have everything's in shambles, all my stuff's all over the place. We had to film a bunch of videos today in preparation um, for the weeks I'm gone. The UV slider, we had to do some, some stuff with that. Um, here it is right here. I got to put it on my bow. We have the only lift right here. We got to get that a couple final shots. It's dialed, but I just want to shoot it a couple times. It's getting a little dark, but we're going to go ahead and shoot that right now. So as you guys can probably tell, this video is going to be very vlog, like vlog style. I'm just taking you guys along. We're going to document what happens, but I'm just going to do it with my iPhone. So it's going to be fun. Also, it's going to be very unprofessional. As you can see, it's sideways right now. In the dock. Okay. I think we're going to go all the way out to 50. It's just getting dark. But hitting good. Got to put our bow away. Got to throw our clothes in a bag. Get our backpack together. We're going to go for the morning. Got all the bags and just waiting for an Uber. We have all day today just hanging out in Anchorage. But we, I got a couple things I got to get. So we're going to go to the hotel. It is rainy, it is miserable outside. That's Alaska. I mean, don't be all shy. Guys, we landed in Prudhoe Bay and it was a bit of a stretch to get down here. It's super, super foggy and wildfire, so surprised we even got in. But we got in, had delays all morning long, and now we are going to uh, hang out for a while until our guy comes to pick us up to send us off even further up here. It's really cold, as you can see. Very cold. <laughs> Okay guys, well, a update, a bit of an update. We have spent all day long just waiting for our plane to come pick us up. And the conditions are so bad with that we had to get this hotel room in the middle of Prudhoe Bay. And I'll give you a quick tour in the minute, but we're hanging out and we got to spend the night here. We're hoping we can get out in the morning. It's like a jail cell. It honestly is a jail cell. Caden, Cooper, their dad, and me have to stay all in here so we got person there person there then we're going to do a person here and a person here and this hotel room was 425 and 25 dollars for one night don't buy a hotel on dead horse <laughs> yeah not a great not a great stay <laughs> we have all the backpacks like ready to rip in the morning and uh hopefully hopefully yeah. we can get out in the morning Update for day number two, I guess. Second day up here in Prudhoe. 
still super foggy so we've been crammed in a little hotel room and Kay didn't really want to get out and fish so we came down the hall road a little bit to fish no fish yet it's very cold we did see a little caribou but we're just we're we're hung up until we get a text from our guy that it's clear enough and he'll be on the way to pick us up so just wasting time We saw a little float plane trying to circle around and land, so hopefully our guy here is here soon. Cooper's driving. <laughs> Welcome to Prudhoe Bay, day number three. Day number three, we just did our second night. Um, a little bit better conditions today. Hopefully we can get flown out today. It's been very boring just hanging out. We played, there's a pool table here. We probably have played 50 games of pool. And that's about it. Hopefully we can get out today. Five years later, still holding strong. All right guys, well, it has been a long time coming, but our plane just landed and I think we're actually finally gonna get out of here. So we're gonna load up and get out of here. We finally made it into camp. We got uh, Jim and the guide and a couple other people are coming in, but this is our tent. We're probably gonna stay here tonight before we get flown in again to our spot, but it's gonna be our tent all my way from home for a little bit. Cooper and I, we're probably gonna shoot the bows because they do have an archer target here and just probably hang out at least for the next couple hours, potentially overnight. And then we'll get flown into camp. But that flight was absolutely awesome. We saw ton of big caribou we saw some bears sheep. some sheep it was probably the coolest flight i've ever been on by far so <laughs> it was awesome i'll well, hopefully get the bows out here in a minute shoot a little bit shoot a little bit just make sure the bow is on and make sure we're all dialed me and cooper yeah and uh we're gonna load up the quiver as if we're shooting for real and it's a little windy but all we got to do is make sure our marks are good and we don't gotta tire ourselves out Smoke so good. 
I didn't realize the flash was going to be on on this, but night number one in the bush, we uh, are just spending the night kind of at like our main camp that they got here. And then tomorrow we are going to fly into our spot. It's been a long few days of just travel. We've been traveling since Monday. Monday? Yeah. Oh. And today is Saturday. Tuesday. 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 Tuesday we flew. Long. Yeah, still. Tuesday we flew to Anchorage. Wednesday we flew to Prudo. Thursday, Friday we stayed all day in Dead Horse. And today we finally got in. So and we're not done yet. And we're still not done. Yet. We got one more plane ride tomorrow. Hopefully this one more. Hopefully this one more. So hang tight. Get a good night's rest. And hopefully be flying again tomorrow. Morning. Morning, late morning. After the fog. Once again, it's out of here. So and then we gotta wait. Like, and then we gotta wait until the next the next morning. So we'll eventually get to it. Eventually. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, the boys and Jim just got flown off and our guide, Brett, all got flown off and uh, they got to drop off and then they'll come back and get me my gear and some more gear. So I got about two hours just to organize my stuff a little bit more and just hang out. But we're getting out today. It's finally happening. Long, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is our sixth day of like flying and traveling, which is unreal have my pack and then I like to keep everything just in dry bags so I got three main dry bags I got my tent that's my lid uh, so we'll actually fly they say keep your dry bags kind of out because they can kind of cram them in places and keep my bag kind of light then when we land we'll cram all of it in I don't know if I'll bring my arrow tube quite yet uh, I might just wrap up some arrows and some duct tape call it a day I got my rain gear out I'll keep that up on top but this is pretty much it the other guys got food I have some snacks in that dry bag and stuff, but besides that, this is what I got. Okay, well we made it into camp here with the boys. We gotta get my tent set up, they got their tent set up, and we have a view. Just an unreal mountain behind us. Unreal mountain above, we're kinda down in this little valley. It's this little, really river bottom, and uh, up on top is a big flat, which is pretty much the runway. Then they drop us off, and then just a giant river that way, giant river that way, and they're down in the bottom, it's just traveling. This is home sweet home for a little bit. You cannot hunt on the same day you fly, so we are literally just hanging out in camp, getting stuff situated. We can start hunting technically at 3 a.m. tomorrow. So let's soak up this view. We might do some glassing, just looking. Um, but yeah, we, uh, oh, when Jim and the boys landed, they had a bunch of caribou come right through camp. So that was a really good sign. We couldn't land because they were on the airstrip. Yeah, I guess they could, couldn't land because they were literally on the airstrip. So that's that's fantastic. And they kept coming. They were just coming right up here and then they would come 
off and we were just sitting there and it was run, run by like 40 yards. So that's very encouraging. Well, Caden just went up to the top, so there's a bunch of caribou. What's that? Alright guys, we made it in the tent. Uh, we are going to try to go to bed. It's pretty dang early. We got Cooper and I. Cooper snuggled in on the other side. And we're gonna try to go to bed pretty early so we can wake up early. We can technically start hunting at three. We're gonna try to wake up like four or five. And uh, it's only like 6.30 right now. So we've been seeing a lot of bulls. Even just now, another group of three came in. So the boys are jacked. We're gonna get some sleep. We got all of our gear. Just lined up next to us right here. It's pretty tight in here. Yeah, it's tight. It's nice though. I mean, tight two person. We gotta stay light in case we need to move. So here we are, and we're hunting in the morning. Finally, after six, six days, days of, travel. Holy cow. of travel, we finally made our destination. We were supposed to do that on day two. Unreal, but we'll see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, first morning of actually hunting. We are perched up here, um, just overlooking this big river bottom and it just really pinches down. Like we saw those couple caribou yesterday night and uh, the boys actually saw a couple more right at the end. So we're gonna hang tight. We have a long day ahead of us and Cooper, or Caden and Jim were way over on that far side so we're kind of split up looking either direction just keeping an eye keeping an eye out i have a feeling we're not going to see anything until midday that's what everyone's saying is caribou really aren't moving until 11 or noon but they run kind of all the way into the night but we have coffee cooper on the spotter we're ready so a lot of caribou yesterday we're coming up out of there coming like this and then working right there in that light green patch and just feeding. So hopefully, hopefully we can see them popping up over there and can get in front of them as they're feeding all along there. Here comes Caden with some coffee. <laughs> Wonder how much of it it's gonna be left. <laughs> Do you spill any? Oh yeah. Did you? How much is left? A little bit. Oh, there's a good amount left. So I grabbed the bottom of it, and dude, it burnt me so bad. What's your rating? One to ten, ten being great, one being bad. Probably like a three. Three? I thought it was more like a six. I found them. Good practice for us, boys. Yeah, good practice for them. Well, guys, we just spotted some caribou in the bottom. We are going to, uh, Gotta see what they do here. Definitely looked like some good ones off the get go. They're hugging that left side. There's one shooter. Huh? One shooter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's a nice one. One on the far right. Yep. The spotting's The front yeah. one's nice. Yeah. Is he? Are there any other shooters or just him? I think just him. Yeah, it's too soon to really tell what they are going to do. We're in the middle. You just, stay put. just trying to figure out which way they're going right now. It looks like they're literally just coming right at us. Yeah, they're going to be right there. Yeah, good. The ones you videoed? Yeah, he's just going back. Yeah. yeah. They literally might just pop up right here. Almost go time. Almost. We'll see. <laughs> if they don't take the river. I might shake. We might take this light, lighter section here soon.
change of play. Caden has a rifle. Chase the world. last thing you want to do is chase caribou. Here we are. That might be too far, buddy. 370. Three, 350. 370. That's at four. There. What's your scope at? 350. Okay. What one is it, Brett? He's in the middle. Just wait. 375. Now he's the leader. I know. And he's going left. Ah! He's at top 400. It's a little far, buddy. Unless you're comfortable, just wait. It's pretty far. Just pretty far. Your butt's busted. kind of far, Brett, now. Okay, well, we played cat and mouse a little bit, chased those way up the mountain. So a little bit of lessons learned how to deal with the wind a little bit better. We're going to get back set up, maybe even move her set up a little bit. And then wait again for the next group. Back on our glass and knob, Jim and Caden are going to move over to this knob as a vantage point in case we booger them up again. But we're just sitting and waiting again for another one. Moving our glass and knob just down here a little bit, just help with this wind. I'm really hoping it switches a little bit because it's heading right down this this gully. So we're gonna get down here, get back set up. Cooper, what were the lessons learned so far? We all learned a lot of lessons. Um, <laughs> they smell good. You don't really have to worry about their eyes as much as their nose. You gotta stay out of their nose. That's about it. And you can't chase them. Right? Or have you not learned that lesson yet? We all chased them. I know, but it didn't work. We do it anyway. <laughs> we'll probably do it again. <laughs> okay, well, Caden and Jim are signaling to us that they see caribou. It's five o'clock. It's been a long time with no action. So we're gonna go see what they got going on, but they're bumming. Six, seven hundred yards away, so there's no telling what's going on. But we at least got some action. No, it's not that big. Do you see it? It's coming right, right there. Yeah. Oh, it just, it's going down. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's flopping. I saw the flash of the bear. He's hold down. on, hold on. No, he's not down. I saw the flash. He's down. He's down. I saw the flash go off before the shot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's nice. One down. Kaden just smoked him. He came up from the river bottom, came up from the river bottom, and we button hooked around in case he came this way, but Caden just smoked a nice one. Nice work, buddy. Hey, give me some. Give me some. Smoke that. <laughs> we were trying to get you guys to run because we are going to have you guys shoot it. Yeah, no, it worked out good. <laughs> That's so cool, buddy. Is he a big one? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were no, that's perfect. He was 120 yards. I wasn't passing it up. No, that's perfect. 
Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's Is awesome. Is it a double buddy. shovel? Did you see him it's a single shovel. So he just has this one right here. But he's got good fronts, pretty good tops. Yeah, man, that's a good one. Yeah, good shooting, buddy. First time I pulled the trigger, and I'm like, shoot, I'm safe. Yeah, he punched <laughs> the crap out of it. So good thing it was on safe. Oh, yeah, it was on safe, thank goodness. I put it, and I just pinwheeled it again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, buddy. Yeah, that's a good one. The boys were right um, up there. You put somebody better back to the it's on I will. You somebody needs to go up there and get a lookout. See if there's any caribou coming. I will. Stuff. I will look. I, we gotta go get our stuff. Let's go. We we'll got. Give me nux. I don't want that. I can just go right here. So I can go off. Just have a loose. Just have a loose. You know. Yeah. Loosey goosey. Oh, Load it up. Let's go. All right, guys, well, my blood, my hands are literally bloody, and we were just about to get back to camp, and we spotted a giant herd of caribou. It's like 10 o'clock at night, <clears throat> and we're gonna see what we can do here. So, we have, we just got done gun mine, and there's a couple monsters, bulls coming up this hill where they've been hunting all day. So, we're gonna try to get a stock on it. Smoked them. He's one behind. Yeah, I'm far back, but he's in the back. You did it. You just bet it down, buddy. It's not done yet, but it's, it's like center body here. 45 yards. Get Cooper up here. Yours is a freaking giant. The big group just outrun me, Cooper. So when I shot, he just started moving a little bit, and it's a gut shot. We're watching him right now. He actually bedded down in a good spot. We could watch him, and then the, the group of bulls like carried him. Probably got adrenaline in him, and then he went another hundred yards or so, and he he's laid back down again, which sucks. But he uh. We got him, he's expired. We had to watch him a little bit, come up and make sure, but <laughs> he's right here. That's a big one, man. That's big, big. That's a big one. Get this hunt for me, man. Just a big. That thing's really, really big. big. Oh. <laughs> Look at him straight on like that. He's big. Oh man. The camera doesn't do it what he looks no, like. No, it doesn't do it justice at all. Oh jeez. 
Sorry, big guy, we gave you a little bit of a run around, but. He has six on his tops, yeah, holy cow. One, two, three, four, five. They both have, six, they both have six. Three, four, five, six. They're big. Double shovels. Yeah. Barely, but he did. That's cool. Oh, man. What a fun time. His frame is really big. He's got a big frame, just big frame, frame. First shot, I mean, that might have been a liver shot, honestly. I mean, come look at it, Chris. That was the out, you know? So, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. not bad at all. I don't think it was as bad as we were thinking. My, oh, my. We shot a big caribou. Well, guess what? You're next, buddy. We got four days to do it. Two on the same day. Two First day. day. First me, day. Me and Caden. Yeah, so he's got double shovels, but he only has, like, you know, that one. That one, yeah. And then, that one's big. I got heavy quick. Mm -hmm. I got hang on, hang on. I just gotta jump. Okay, boys and girls, it's 2.20 in the morning and we just laid down. What a long day, exhausting day. But we have two caribou down. How are you looking at this thing? It's pretty bright. Yeah, it's a little bit. And we're gonna keep after it for Cooper in the morning. But uh, what an amazing day it was. So we're gonna get some sleep. See you guys in the morning. Just go towards camp then. Took her. Yeah, that front one's not bad either. I think the back one's the biggest. Either the front one or the back one. I'm gonna figure this out. We have been awake for, I have been awake for five minutes. I was told there's caribou in the bottom, come get your stuff. So we we're probably gonna make a play on this with Cooper. I need to drink some water first. I mean, that, that back one is nice. Yeah. What's that? I think it's in the same caliber. Oh, it's got a lot of points. I mean, he's got what? Six on top there? Kill that one. Just get a good range. They're going to come right to us. You're good. Just move slow. How far is that? How far is that? It was the, it was the wind and the way. That one's pretty big. No. Well, Coop let those go for a pass. I would have smoked any. Those two for sure. And picky boy. We are back at our sit post overlooking where I killed them yesterday. And uh, we have a really good game. We kind of really have a pack in the We get another group in the bone chair. Bone chair is awesome. Staring with our eyes out, like right there in the bottom. Okay, guys, well, it's once again afternoon time. Another slow day, but we're totally switching up our game plan. Cooper and I are down here, kind of where they all come up out of this river. And we found their trails, and we actually have a little spiker tent of a caribou coming, so we're gonna just get set up see if he'll actually come through the funnel that we found practice for some bigger boys they've been coming
coming off of that, working their way through the shrub, coming up right here. This is kind of like that gravel bar. They've been coming up right here, so we're gonna get down in there. There's a good little shrub we're gonna sit by. So if they do that same thing, come off the river, cut through here, come up. That's what mine did, and a couple, a couple more have. So we'll be, we'll be styling. He's doing that same program. So we finally are seeing some caribou. It is what time is it? 7:34. Man, it's just so long. And then just boom, instantly. So they're coming and we're gonna probably shuffle down here and hopefully we can cut them off in no time. Hopefully get a shot. I really hope they don't take that picture of that. Really? No, they aren't. Explain that again real quick. They are going pretty gosh dang it. So I found that nice trail. Uh, we had a little small spiker go down the river. We're hoping these don't, but if they do, once they hit this little Bulls are definitely kind of playing with us right now. We don't know if they're going to go right, if they're going to go left. They hug the river like the little one did earlier. We're going to have quite the quite the, the deal here, but there's still a chance they cut right through. We're just going to have to watch. Right on the edge. Do you see him? <laughs> You're probably gonna have to stand up to shoot. Oh. So just make sure you don't hit brush, okay? I got it's gonna be right here on this side. Yeah. So it's like within 20 yards. 15 yards to the top of this close path. Yes. It's only 40 to the other side. Stay down. Yeah, I am. He's on the other side. 40 to the top. He's gonna be right at 40. Bap. 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 Get another one, get another one. Okay, get another one. No, he's dead. He's dead. He's absolutely smoked. Get another one. Get another one. Get another one out. Hit him again. Shoot him again. Right here, right here. You dropped it. Shoot him again. Oh, he's going down. Just get another one in him. It's 40. Yup, 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 yup. He's a giant. Hold on. He's still there. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. He's still there. He's standing there. He's done. He's done. That's a giant, buddy. <laughs> Dude, that's a giant. Woo! 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 <laughs> oh my, that's a giant, man. <laughs> I punched him. Yeah. Look at this. We gotta look at this. <laughs> that's a big one, buddy. Look at this. 
Well, Broadhead's that, man. Dead meat. Well, did you see him pumping across the river? That was insane. That was nuts. Look at the boy. It's a G5 dead meat right there, man. Look, look, look. <laughs> oh, my God. That's nuts. Look, look at it, this. It's in the rock. That's yeah. carnage. Look at that. He's got like a like a, like a a weird thing him. going on. No, he's done. You sure? Yeah. I, I shot him through here, and it like cut his whole what? thing yep. open. Yep. Oh, hold on, hold on. He's done. He's done. done. Just wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Close up, but... Oh gosh, man. He's <laughs> a four shovel. That's a giant. That's a big. That's a big one, man. Like that That's a big one, man. Dude, he's so gnarly, dude. That's a lot of bone. I'm going across. The you know what this is gonna be? Is a lot of work. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Man, it looks so big. Well, we have three tags filled in two days. Just got back to camp. Sun is well below the uh, mountains now. So we are going to probably try to get a little fire going, and get some back straps going. Because why not? Because we can. And here we got Caden trying to struggle bus up this mountain. Or about to be. There we go, first bite. Hang on, it's hot. <laughs> really, really hot. Wow. <laughs> Just wait a minute. I'm gonna try to get this fire really big real quick. Moose like a deer. <laughs> it's not bad. Just good though. Yeah. Definitely tastes like a caribou. Yeah. Smell like tastes like the smell of a caribou. Yeah. Alright guys, well this is the end of the road. We uh, we overnighted here back in base camp. We have all the caribou back and we have to then start shuttling our way back home. So it's gonna be a long day of travel today, but this was fun. This was so fun to be with uh, Cooper and Caden on their first adventure hunt and gym. And honestly, I just wanted to do this video for the memories on my phone. Just fun, low pressure and uh, we didn't get anything on film. I really didn't care, and if we did, cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video, and uh, <laughs> we'll keep on keeping on. See you guys in the next one.